I want to bring in uh, foxnews.com contributor Lisa Daftari now uh, to talk about a fascinating story and disturbing story in many ways uh, coming out of Iran. Uh, Lisa, Iran has convicted this uh, Christian pastor uh, who's converted from Islam, is that right? He's and he's going to be sentenced to death. He was born into a Muslim family. Hmm. He says he never practiced Islam. And at 19 years old, he decided to convert to uh, Christianity. Now while the Islamic Republic of Iran cracks down on all minority religions, whether they be Christian or Baha'i or Jews or Zoroastrians, uh, they have their harshest um, uh, punishments for those who have turned their backs on, on Islam. So this is, this is not about him being a Christian, it's about him converting to Christianity. That's the issue here. Right, exactly. And they want to set an example and say, once you turn your back on, on um, Islam, this is the punishment. So what, what happens next? So basically, you know, the, the, the frightening thing here is that we don't know what happens next. They've put out an order for his execution, and what happens in Iran is that the Islamic Republic sometimes carries out these execution orders within 48 hours of the order, and sometimes they're dragged out up to three years. It's not like, you know, when you think of the American judicial system where there is, you know, a certain process. Um, at any point, this may be overturned, and at any point, the execution might be carried out in secrecy. Now, do, do we know how his arrest came about? Uh, what, what was the time frame from the conversion to the arrest itself? So he came under the radar of the regime first in 2006 where his children would attend um, you know, school and he felt that there was an indoctrination in, in, in the school program. So mm. he went and he complained and um, at that point his church came under um, certain um, you know, scrutiny at the time and that was forgotten. And again he was arrested in, in 2009 where they called him, um, you, you know, they, they, they said that he is spreading Christianity and, and causing others to convert as well. So it wasn't just that he's a Christian but that he's he is um, attempting to convert other Muslims uh, to Christianity. Now, so would anybody attempting to convert others uh, be arrested in Iran, or does this really just come down to his? personal conversion there's been, or? There's been many Christians who have been arrested in Iran for mm. exactly that, whether it be that they are priests or pastors that are, um, you know, the, the head of an organization, the head of a community, um, or, you know, even um, ones that uh, print Bibles, for example. Uh, you know, there's, there's stories about those types of people being uh, arrested. So, I mean, at, at times it is just setting an example. You know, mm. here's one um, uh, isolated case, but we have to remember, I mean, he was... Uh, you know, it's, it's ironic, I will call him lucky, lucky enough to have his case be publicized the way that it was. And it's said that international spotlight on this case has kept him alive to this point. Um, many others don't have this luxury. So, you know, um, we're keeping our eyes on the story and, and following it and allowing it to remain in the public eye so that uh, the, the pressure is on the regime. Is, and is there any sort of concerted campaign other than uh, people in the media talking about it? Right, there are political campaigns. So uh, uh, Hillary Clinton has spoken out about this. There's several heads of state from other countries in Germany and Mexico and the European Union that have spoken out about this um, as well as several online campaigns and the, um, there's a, a tweet campaign where um, individuals um, donate a tweet a day uh, to, to freeing Youssef Nadirhani, the name mm. of the pastor, um, and these tweets have reached over 400,000 people so thus far. So that's uh, Chris Service for instance asking what can I do about it um, right. saying right that's in, what you do, you write. Write into your representatives, join these online campaigns, tweet for him um, and, and just get the word out there. You know, there's a, st a story I wrote um, yesterday on FoxNews.com. Learn about his case, um, and again, uh, just keep it going, keep it alive.